Hi everyone, happy Friday. For today's Read Aloud, we are going to be reading Splish Splash Splat by Rob Scotton. Splat purred happily in his sleep as candy fish of all shapes and sizes swam through his dreams. He reached out to catch one. When his mom threw open the curtains, time to get up, she called. The candy fish melted away. Come back, little fishes, Splat sighed. Oh, I almost forgot, said Splat's mom. Spike's coming over for a play date after cat school. Spike, 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 spluttered Splat. Spike will eat all the candy fish and play with my toys until they break. plenty of candy fish and we'll put away your favorite toys said his mom although wouldn't it be nice if you shared sure with anyone but spike said splat he's a show-off he calls me names and he doesn't like me i'm sure he really likes you said splat's mom now get in the bath or you'll be late but water is horrible said splat it's scary and wet, and it makes me soggy. Don't forget to wash behind your ears, said his mom. Gulp. This is not going to be a good day, Splat said at breakfast. Seymour shook his head. Not a good day at all, Splat said on his way to school. Seymour shook his head. Can this day get any worse? Splat asked. Seymour looked through Splat's legs and nodded. Hi, Splatty. Last one to school is a loser, said Spike with a grin. Spike sped through a puddle with a splash and was gone. What a show off, said Splat. This is, this is definitely going to be the worst day ever. In class, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple made an announcement. Today, class, we are going to learn how to swim. The class fell silent. Almost. Hurrah! cheered Plank. How weird, said Splat. Class, to the swimming pool, continued Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. The class lined up by the pool. Splat forgot to put on his swim trunks, teased Spike. Everybody laughed. No, I haven't. They're black and furry, Splat replied. It's time to get into the water, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Yippee, cried Plank, and he jumped into the pool. That's really weird, said Splat. Me next, cried Spike. Spike rushed up to the pool edge. But then he stopped and stepped back. Hmm, I forgot something, he said. Some of the class slowly stepped into the pool. Me next, cried Spike again. He rushed to the pool edge, but once again, he didn't get in. I forgot something else, he said. More of the class got into the pool. Soon there were only two cats left by the side of the pool, Splat and Spike. Come on in, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. It's a lot of fun. Splat couldn't keep quiet any longer. Water is horrible, he blurted, hiding behind Spike. Yes, yes, it's horrible, said Spike, hiding behind Splat. Water is scary and wet. They cried together, and it makes us soggy. So it sounds like they have something in common after all. Splat was confused. He thought that Spike wasn't afraid of anything. But Spike was just as scared as he was. Splat felt sorry for him. Splat looked at Seymour. Aha, he thought. Then Spike saw the strangest thing. A candy flesh floated in front of his face. Spike tried to catch it, but he missed. He tried again and again, but still 
couldn't catch it. Then he made one last effort and finally, <gasps> yum! Then Spike realized that he was standing in the swimming pool. How did that happen? He wondered. Hmm, it doesn't feel horrible or scary or too wet, thought Spike. Hey, Splatty, last one to the other side is a loser. If Spike can do it, so can I, thought Splat. He took a deep breath and jumped. <gasps> Splat. Hmm, it tickles, said Splat. Water's not horrible at all. Splat called to Spike. Last one to the other side is a loser. Later that day, Spike went over to Splat's house. He ate lots of candy fish and played with Splat's toys, but he only broke one. He also gave Splat the perfect present. This is for Splat. What did he get him? A pair of swim trunks. The end. All right, my friend. I hope you enjoyed our splish splash splat. And I hope you enjoy maybe some water time during this heat. All right. Happy Friday. And I hope you have a great weekend. Until next time. Bye.